Okay, what up, 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 what's going on everybody, I'm PT, welcome to PT Show Best Top 5, today of course is Tuesday, it's a terrible Tuesday in the neighborhood, I got a lot to talk about, but before I go any farther, I want to send once again a special shout out to Glow Glow from the Maryland area, DC area, she sent me this, this is my first gift that I got from my P.O. Box. And if you would like that P.O. Box information, all you have to do is email me at comedianpt at yahoo.com and I will send you that. And the reason why I have to send you the email is because everybody's not a P.T. fan. And, you know, somebody might send me some white powder yeah. or something, something I don't want in the mail. So, you know, I got to make sure I know who's sending me something. Okay. So this is what this says. If God brings you to it, he'll bring you through it. Oh, how sweet. And it also has the little wings that go with it. I'm going to put this up on my a uh, little fireplace over there. So thank you again, Go Glow. And she also sent me um, a $20 gift card from, uh, of course, you know me, I'm always <laughs> I'm always at Starbucks. Uh, I've already used it once. Uh, here's another card that says, Warm thoughts can make the sun a little brighter, the sky a little bluer, the world a little nicer. PT, you may, <clears throat> may you always have the blessings of faith and God in yourself. God bless you, all you do. Love you much, much. Gloria, glow, glow. Oh, and I have one more. That's from her, and I have one more. One more! Sending you a little sunshine your way again from glow, glow. This is it right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a little sunshine. Send a little sunshine my way, amen? Uh, that's what I need, a little sunshine sent my way. All right, so again, thank you, Glow Glow. I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you have to be in the um, uh, in that area, uh, of course, you know, Lunell's going to be there this weekend. You can stop by and see her. I'll talk about that later on. She's going to be the comedy club there in uh, uh, Maryland area. Okay. Um, also, I want to send a shout out to Dion, the comedian in the D.C. area. Shout out to you. Uh, can't wait to see you again. This time, don't be ignoring me when I come to D.C., okay? I'll slap the hell out of you. <laughs> Welcome to the show. All right, here we go. Show this top five, number five. I'm going to be talking about Tamar and Vince. The rumors are back out that they, they're back together again. They've been seen together, so we're going to talk about that. Show this top five, number four. Uh, did you know that uh, Jada Pickett-Smith uh, thought about committing suicide? Yeah. And of course, Showbiz Top 5, number 3, congratulations to my girl Candy Coated. Great news to report about her. And of course, Showbiz Top 5, number 2, you know this is Pride Month and somebody messed it up. Somebody from the Housewives. <laughs> and I'll tell you in just a second. Of course, Showbiz Top 5, number 1, oh, this is breaking news about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And I'm going to tell you about that as well. I'm going to get a little bit of this punch and we're going to get right to it. Mm -hmm. If you're ready. All right, everybody, again, today is Tuesday. It's hot as hell in Texas, and I'm sure it's hot where you're at. Um, you know, we're supposed to be getting some rain um, here real soon, so I don't know if that's going to cool it off. You know, and I know this is her, uh, hurricane season, and uh, there's a lot of hurricanes and stuff and tropical storms popping up, so you guys be safe out there. And make sure that you are, are prepared for earthquake. I mean, earthquake, hell, earthquakes and earth. And just make sure you're prepared for Disaster, you know, have you some extra water and some uh, gas. Uh, if you have a home, get you two or three gases, um, cans of gas for your for your for your uh, for your car, just in case you know the, the tanks of uh, you can't get to a tank or whatever, and you need to get out of town. And make sure that you have medical supplies and make sure you have water, even if, if the water is not cold. Just Water is good to have because somebody may need to take medication. You know, you got to have some clean, decent water. Um, plenty of canned foods. I mean, you might get tired of eating tuna fish or whatever or crackers, whatever, but it'll keep you alive, okay? So make sure you guys prepare for anything that could go down. All right. All right, so let's go to, uh, let's talk about this Tamar and Vince stuff. Well, here's a picture of them, and they were seen together at Calabasas um, at this store. I'm sure Lunell know what this is. I ain't never been to Calabasas. I heard everybody talking about this. Where all the celebrities hang out there in California. And they were seen here walking together and in the shop. Listen, I'm tell y'all something about Tamar and Vince. All this stuff is just a big, it just has something to do with the show. It just has something to do with the show. They, they not getting no damn divorce. There ain't nothing going on with them. It's like all this stuff with uh, Jay-Z and uh, Beyonce. They ain't been more getting... Uh, 
Child, they got to stay relevant to make money. Yeah, as you can see, look, this the lost the way he looks great. Next day, going to be saying he's cheating. They're going to be having a woman in the mix just to keep y'all stirred up. I'm not going to talk about it no more. You know, well, they PT, PT they're together for the baby. Well, maybe so. I guess you got to be together for the for the child, not together, you know, staying together. But but if you think about it, she, she don't have to go shopping with him to, for the sake of the child. I don't know, you know, but I just wish it would go away. <laughs> I wish it would go away. Either, either, either they're together or they're not together. Of course, they're doing what they want us to do, talk about it. So tell me what you guys think. Do you think they're still together? And tell me what you think about Vince's weight loss. I think he looks awesome. He's not cute, but, you know, it's awesome that he lost, he lost the weight. I'm sure he feels a lot healthier. And as far as Tamar and her wig stuff, I like that. I like the fact that she's not wearing the wig. She looks... Huh? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. This is Tony Braxton. Y yes, ma'am. She do. She wear the wig sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, the, the picture that I showed, she didn't have on a wig. How you doing, Tony? Are you and Birdman still together? All right, let me get back to my show. <laughs> there was... Tony Braxton over there. Anyway, child, here we go. So, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted on this. I really don't want to talk about it no more. All I know is they've been seen together a lot. Even after they was fighting and stuff, they were seen together. So, you just really never know. I personally think it just has something to do with the show. I just do. I think it just has to do with ratings, the show, and just like when she went to Dallas and they said the club wouldn't let her in because she looked ghetto. I think all that was just a put on. That To me, that was just to get attention. But I could be wrong. So, Let's tune in. Let's go into the next story. Let's go. Oh, now this is this is number four. This is juicy right here. You know, unfortunately, man, we've been losing a lot of. We've lost two celebrities. Suicide. Uh, Anthony. Anthony Bourdain, and then we had the Kate Spade female, the lady, uh, designer, and listen. People always say, oh, if I was rich, I'd be happy. Money does not buy you happiness. This is, this has been proven. I'm sure both of them have money or had money. Well, did you know that Jada had thought about some moons ago that she thought about committing suicide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said that, you know, she went through a time in her life and she felt like, she, you know, she just didn't want to be here. Have you ever, have you guys ever thought about suicide? Me? Nah. I thought about some days just going to sleep and just waking up and saying it'll be better. But as far as me, suicide, nah. Nah. And trust me, I've been through some shit. And I'm going to say shit. <laughs> you know, but I just... I, I, number one, I think it's selfish. I think that it's, it's wrong. And I think that you... You know, I couldn't dare do that to my mother of all people. And my family, I just could not do that to them. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. So, Jada is saying, you have to take care of your mind just like you do your body, you know? You know how if you work out, you take care, you have to do your mind the same way. You know, she said, it's, 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 it's something that you have to do, you know? The way you treat your body is the way you have to treat your mind. And some people just don't have that, that support group. Some people do, some people don't. And as, as, as popular as Anthony was, he decided to take his own life. Oh, with the money that he had, you know, the, 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 the wealth, the fame, and all that TV stuff, he just wasn't happy in the mind. You just never know what somebody's going through. You just never, never know what somebody's going through. So, um, we're glad she's good now. We're glad she's better and... I, I'm just, I'm happy for, I, I genuinely love Jada. I like Jada from the first time, from, from, for me knowing her back when she was in the movie with, uh, in the Wayans Brother movie, Low Down Dirty Chamber. She was in the bedroom with my friend who's deceased now. Uh, I think they call it Wayman or Shane or whatever. Anyway, no, it was Wayman, I think. The little gay guy that said, uh, you better get that dirty rock wall out my bed. Yeah, so, yeah, well, anyway, he was from Houston. He passed on. He actually passed on before the movie came out. His name was Amazing Grace. And may he rest in peace. He was the funniest MC that I've ever known that ever lived. And as far as drag and comedy and stuff, he made it all the way to L.A. And he was just, he was awesome. But anyway, so we're glad Jada's doing better. Give me your guys' thoughts on, the, on what you think about, you know, 
suicide and would you ever do it? And if so, do you think it's been selfish? And I'm glad Jada's better. Let's move on. All right, Miss Candy Girl. All right, congratulations to Candy Burris, honey, from the Housewives of Atlanta. All right, baby, she's got her own show through Bravo, baby. It's going to be a nightly, uh, it's going to be an hour, I think an hour and a half. No, it's going to be an hour and a 30-minute show or something like that. And I'm just so happy for her. She's going to be talking about sex, of course, Candy Coated. Um, you know, pop culture, relationships, well, hell, that go with sex. <laughs> okay, and, and she's going to have celebrity guests such as NeNe Leakes, I'm sure. Ah. <laughs> the list goes on and on. And hopefully me, I'll be going to Atlanta Candy, girl. I know you're watching this show, child. So hopefully I can get on to the show. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm happy for her. She has a really good relationship with Andy, I'm sure, and with, um, with uh, you know, Bravo TV. So, uh, you know, congratulations to Candy. This is going to be something different on TV. You remember she actually already started her web series. I think that was back in 2011. Yeah. And she introduced the world to that. And that's what she even had. Uh, I can't think of a guy's name on there. Uh, he, the one that says, my hair is lame. That's a girl. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He, he was on her show a couple of times. And so congratulations to her. At least she's trying to do something um, like this next person that ain't. And I'm just going to write in, right into this one. We're going to talk about <laughs> Another Housewives, well, formerly Housewives of Atlanta. We're going to talk about uh, <laughs> Kim <laughs> Zozak. Okay, here we go. So, now y'all know this month is June is Pride Month. Uh, shout out to all the Pride committees out there and all the people who are celebrating Pride who may be happy to watch my show. Listen, I'm going to say something to everybody out there who's gay. Or even if you're not gay. You cannot celebrate Pride whether it's Black Pride, Hispanic Pride, regular Pride, whatever, you cannot celebrate Pride if you don't know where Pride came from. It's just like me. I can't be celebrate being Black History Month if I don't know my history. You know, you, some people don't even know what Stonewall is. What is Stonewall? Why do they celebrate Pride? There's a reason why they celebrate Pride. Some people got their asses kicked, and they got tired of it, and they decided to fight back, and there was riots for months and months in New York at the Stonewall, which is still there, which... President Obama made a um, um, uh, made it a landmark. So know your history before you celebrate Pride. A lot of y'all wouldn't. Some of y'all wouldn't be celebrating Pride. I'm talking to you, Riley motherfuckers. You wouldn't be celebrating Pride if you if you wouldn't be you would celebrate Pride better and wouldn't be doing all the fighting and stuff and all the nonsense and stuff that you're doing that I see on uh, on the internet when you put in Black Pride mostly, and you see about a, a lot of folks fighting and doing all kind of mess. Well, you wouldn't do all of this if you know where Stone, what, what, what pride is all about. Know your history. Learn your history. And even if you wasn't gay, being black, you just got to have pride in yourself. You got to know where you come from in order to get along. You can't just go around fighting and you can't just go around being ratchet. You, you're giving them a reason. You're giving them a reason to say all oh, they all the same. So anyway, let's get back to pride. Okay, so there was a Pride event that happened in in um, Florida. And, of course, Kim Zozak was there, and she was a special guest. And this is another problem I have with y'all Pride committees out there. Y'all always booking these straight people. I don't have no problem with that. But when you book these straight people like Kim, who never shows up on time, allegedly, and now they say Tank did really good at Gay Pride in D.C. You know, a couple of years ago. And there's a lot of, a lot of people. That Fantasia does really good at Pride. But... Kim, she screwed up. According to the blogs, she lip synced. Her music was low. She was horrible. And Major don't even want to celebrate Pride. Like, Kim, what are you thinking, Kim? First of all, you can't sing. You can't sing, Kim. They just should, just should have paid you for an appearance. You you, you know, to, to tardy for the party, all that. It's not working for you, sweetie. It's not working. You're right there in Atlanta. If it's not working with whoever you, you know, she's probably doing the recording out of her house. You know, get with Jermaine Dupree. Get with somebody there in Atlanta to try to help you. If you got the money to get them to help you, don't just keep trying to do something that's not working. If it's not working, just, you know, move on to something else. They say she just completely destroyed pride. There was at a, a Stoli event. I don't know if you know about Stoli. S-T-O-L-I. You need to Google it. It's huge. I have a friend of mine. Um, this guy I know in Dallas, a Rocky, he actually won, I think, 
Stoli Bartender of the Year, or something like that. I mean, they give away a lot of money. It's a big event. And she just complete, completely screwed it up. Completely screwed it up. And that's what y'all get. Y'all need to stop booking these people who are not talented. That's money. She probably charged y'all like thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, just do what Nene do. Nene just, they used to pay Nene. They don't pay her no more because she ain't worth, they tired of her. You know, she's been worn out. Yeah. All the price. They don't pay her no more. But they would pay Nene lots of money to just show up. Just show up. Just show up, Kim, and shut up. Here, here I'm going to, let me let y'all hear, not let you hear the song, but let me let hear, hear the words to what she called a song. Sorry, I missed my, sorry you missed my party. No, sorry you should have missed the party. Um, I didn't, uh, it did, you didn't call me. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm just being honest. I wish I had gave the shit up. Uh, get off my wig, get off my wig, get off my wig. Bitch, get off my, no, get off the stage, get off the stage, stay off the stage. Uh, Kim Zozak and leave singing alone because it ain't for you. Just because you're hanging around four or five black women and you talk ghetto from time to time and you wring your neck and you do all of this does not mean that you can sing. Okay, leave the scene to Candy Burst. Let's move on. Ah, this is breaking news about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Well, here's the latest. I mean, this is breaking news today, t Wednesday, Tuesday. <laughs> the judge is saying no more. No more. You cannot. You cannot keep these kids from Brad. Either you let the kids see the Brad and have some have some time with Brad, or I'm you're gonna lose physical custody of your children. Yeah, this is breaking news, and this is how I feel about it. Now it's alleged that he supposedly snapped at one of the children on the plane one time. It was really nasty to them. He was drunk, allegedly, and he did this and he done that. I don't know if this is true or not, but I look at it like this. Angelina, go ahead and do what the judge tell you to do. But if Brad do something, they need to have it. She needs to have her lawyer say, if Brad do something out of line and it comes to the, comes to the light and they prove that he's been doing some crazy stuff, which I'm sure now he's learned his lesson, he probably won't do nothing no more. But if he just happens to slip if he happens to slip, you get full custody of the children. And I hate this because now the children in, are involved with a bunch of mess that he created or she created. I don't know because I'm not taking nobody's sides. But I, I, I kind of believe Angelina. I just don't think she would just straight up lie on Brad like that. Why do I believe that? I just don't know. I, I just don't think she would. And if she did, shame on her. Shame on any woman or any man who lie on their spouse just to have custody of their children. But they do it every time. They do it all the time. Now, here's the latest with them. Um, of course, the oldest son, he's going to be able to, uh, he's going to be able to, Maddox, he's going to be able to choose if he wants to spend time with Brad or not. Will he? I don't know. We'll see. But um, it, it's going to be, um, it's going to be coming up um, four days. They're going to be in London for four days, four to ten days. And sometime in mid-June, they're going to be in Los Angeles. And the, the the children are going to have to be able to not no not not just be able to text and he's not going to be able to just see them when he when she wants to see him. But the judges said no, you got to let them see without supervision or any of that. They can, he can text them, he can call them anytime without no strings attached. So you know we'll just see how this goes. But uh, mm, I, I just don't know. This is such a sad situation because the kids are dead off in the middle of it. I know some of you guys know people who are. It's going through some stuff like that. Uh, you know, uh, I, I feel sorry for the kids more than anybody. And I will say Angelina because I do genuinely like, I, you know what? I like both of them. I like Brad and I like Angelina. But if this is true that he did what he did, shame on him. Shame on him. And how long has this been going on? I think this started, what, last year, two years ago? Uh, mm, Lord, listen. If you don't have to put nothing up in nothing, that's all I'm going to say because I know people, young kids be watching my show. Let me just say like this, young people out there, if you 15, 16, or 17 and you, you're you trying to have sex and trying to have doing stuff behind your parents' back, don't do it because it's not worth it. Because once you have a baby, once you have a child, you have to live with that child for the rest of your life. So in other words, even just, oh, I love this girl. No, you don't. You don't love this girl. You love the physical attraction of this girl or this boy. And when you get older, you're going to see somebody else that you're more attracted to. Granted, sometimes it does happen and it does work. 
and it goes all the way through. But I'm a witness. I've seen it in my own family that it doesn't last all the time. And people around me, not just my family, but families around me, you think you're in love, this is it, it's going to happen. You had that first baby, next thing you know, mm -mm -mm. You start getting older, you start seeing better looking women, you start better looking men, or women seeing better looking women. I'm just saying, I'm not judging. And next thing you know, you're not happy. You're always getting into it with the daddy, the baby's daddy, or the mama's child, the, baby, the baby's mother, and it's just always drama. So the best thing for you to do is use a condom and try not to get yourself caught up in something that you don't want to have to deal with. And I won't say for 18 years because even when a child is past 18, some kids are so mentally deranged that when they leave, they, that they leave 18, they still got in their mind, some of them might not ever grow up. And you constantly being the mother or the father of their child for the rest of their life because they can't look at the boy that was living with his parents. And he was 30-something years old, still living with his parents. Something happened way down the line. I think the parents did it to him. There's no way you should be living with your parents at 30 unless they sick. Unless your mom says, well, can you come stay with me and help me out? That's different. That is different. If my mom called me today and said, I need you to come stay with me and help me out, I would do it. I would do it. But, you know, I still would follow the rules. I wouldn't be bringing no strangers to my mama's house and doing nothing like that or doing, you know, doing no extras and stuff in her house. You got to still respect that that's your mom's house. Anyway, I'm, I'm done with all of this. I, I thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. You guys have a great day. Listen, stay in if you have to. Please stay in. It is burning up outside. All right. Now, Lunell is going to be in Baltimore at the Comedy Club. Here's the, the video up here. Oh, let, I never showed you guys the back of that. It's called Lunell's um, Easily Annoyed Comedy Tour. Easily, baby, easily annoyed. Okay. This is the back of it. She doesn't just have the t-shirt. She has the regular shirt, you know. Uh, but this is actually comfortable this time of year because it's, you know, it's uh, hot. So this would be nice to come in. You got some big boobs up there. <laughs> you can put these on and be, the men will be looking at you. But anyway, get you one of these uh, shirts right here. And you can go to HeyLunell.com for tickets. And I guarantee you. Put my money where my mouth is. You're going to have a great time. She's going to make you laugh. You're going to have a great time. Listen, uh, what, two weeks before my birthday celebration? PT, what do you want for your birthday? Cash. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call it out. Cash money. That's it. That's it. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to get some stuff done for Atlanta financially. So if you guys have it in your heart and you want to bless me, please hit the PayPal button below. I love everybody, man, so, so much. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to go to Atlanta. I can't wait. And another reason why, I, you know, I'm, this trip is going to be, um, this trip is going to be better for me this time around because I'm going to be in my own room. Chase going to be in his own room. So, you know, that's going to cost a little bit more, for, more money for me. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I got my ticket. I'm so happy. I'm just... I'm just, I need to get away. And I won't say when I go away to relax. No, it's, it's not a relaxed thing. You don't relax when you go out of town. You partying and having a good time. I just need to, I love Houston. Don't get me wrong. I just need to get away. 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 Lay up in the Marriott bed. Oh, the hotel I'm staying at. Here's pictures of a hotel. There's pictures. And inside pictures and stuff and the hotel is sickening because it's like you can go outside at night and you can um you can they have a little lounge area where you can have your little cocktail oh it's just oh Aww. i'm just so excited i'm just so ready to go but anyway guys i love y'all thanks for tuning in please like share and comment and whatever y'all do please tell somebody about pt showbiz top five pt's punch welcome all my new subscribers uh, by the way, yes, I'm letting it grow. I'm letting it grow. I'm not going to cut it anymore because I'm going to let it grow and then I'm going to have it faded up. Oh, it's going to be... Baby, when I get off the plane in Atlanta, they're going to say, say, baby, what's your name? Hey. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Take care. Y'all have a good one. Y'all take care. Bye. Bye. See y'all tomorrow. Take care.